what this is going to tell us what our next move is going to be. Okay. What we have, this 211, we're going to spin this crank over till this says 211. That means the weight wants to come out right here. We don't want to take the weight out here. We want to shift it to the center of the counterweight. So to do that, we're going to weld this hole up. Okay, let's go to the back. It wants weight out at angle 57. 57, 57. That means it wants weight out right here. So what that means, to shift this to the center here, we need to weld this hole up. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go back in the shop and weld it up and grind it down, and we'll be back and respin it. Okay, so we've got our crank welded up, front and back. We've got the bob weights reset up on it. You have to reset everything up after you do that. Uh, let's take a look here. Here's a here's the front counterweight we welded up. No hole here now. You got that? Okay, let's go over and look at the rear counterweight. This is, we welded it up right here. So basically, what we're going to see if this helps shift our weight to the center of this counterweight and the center of this counterweight before. Before we welded it, we were out around here on the front, and we were out about right here on the back. Okay, so now uh, our numbers are going to be different because we've had the encoder disconnected from the crankshaft. So the numbers are going to, we're going to have to start new with the numbers. But let's see where we're at. Okay, 75. 75, 75. Now we're right here. We've shifted about eh, maybe two and three eighths of an inch on the front. Still not right here where we want to be, but we'll get there. Now let's go back here to the rear, 275. Okay, we're here now, we're almost there. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna enlarge this hole right here in the flex plate just a little bit to shift the weight this way. So to see if that's gonna do the job, we're gonna clay it. So stay there, Tommy, and we're gonna, we're gonna spin it again. Okay, we were talking about talking about drilling this hole. So we want to go 180 degrees away from that hole and put some weight with the clay on the flex plate. You probably can't see, but I'm putting putting clay on the back side of the flex plate over here, 180 degrees from that. Let's see what it does, see if it shifts the weight. Okay, our number change to 282. There's 282. We're almost over the center of the center of the counterweight. We're right here. We want to be right there. So we know we're going to drill this hole. So we're going to drill it and we'll be back. Okay. We're heavier on the back counterweight than the front counterweight. So we're going to work on this back counterweight first. 
So what we've done to shift where the weight needs to come out of this counterweight is we've taken some of the existing holes, one here, one here, one here, one here, drilled them out bigger, and added a three extra holes here. We're going to go back there and chamfer these, and now that we've got the weight, the weight wants to come out about right here, we're going to go after this counterweight and get some of this counterweight off this flex plate instead of drilling holes in the back of this rear counterweight. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, we've got our flex plate chamfered, all the holes that we put in it. Again, we only actually put these three holes in it. These other four were already here. And we try to use the holes that are already there. So we've chamfered them like I said. And then we came over and we took weight out of this, this weight here by grinding on it. Okay, and we're going to spin it again and see where we end up. Hopefully we're going to be close to the center of the counterweight here where we want to be. But again, we've taken the weight out of here instead of taking it out of here and putting a bunch of holes in this crank. That's what we don't want. We want this weight out of the, out of the furthest part out because the crank will go like this less with le the weight taken out of each end. Hopefully that explains it the best I can, but so again we've ground here. So let's spin it and see where we're at. Hopefully this will be close to where we want to be. Okay, and we're looking pretty good. Hold on here, hold on here Tommy. Okay, we're at 275. The weight is dead center in this counterweight. And look at that, we're down to 5.7 grams. We have, we have not put one hole in this back counterweight yet. It's all come out of this weight, this external weight. So now what we're going to do is work on the front of the crank because we've got to catch it up. So we'll go back. Let's see, we're at angle 50, which is right here. This is where the weight wants to come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill this factory hole out a little deeper and in an effort to shift the weight to the center of the counterweight where we want to be. Hopefully it'll work that way. Okay, what we have here is a drill bit that fits the factory hole perfectly. We're going to drill this hole out deeper to try to shift this to the center of the counterweight again. So let's, let's take about a quarter inch out and see what happens. We're at angle 51, we're going to spin it again here and see if we've shifted it. Yep, 55 and we're down to 28 grams. So now the weight wants to come out right here. So we're going to keep drilling to shift this further. Okay, you got that, Tommy? Ready? inching up on this because we don't we don't want to overshoot it but again we're trying to shift 
the weight to the center of the counterweight and that's where we want to take it out. Now we're at angle 63 and we're down to 18.7 grams. 63 is right here. So we're going to drill more. And again, we're using the factory hole that was already there. So we're not putting more holes in the crankshaft, which, which is important. You don't want a bunch of holes in the counterweights if you can avoid it. Another thing too you got to consider is we've taken 191 grams of weight out of the connecting rod and piston over the factory setup too. So that's a, that's a significant amount of weight. Now we're at 72 and we got 14 grams to come out. So 72 is right there. So we're still not in the center of the counterweight, but we're getting there. with 11.4 grams to come out. So 82, now we're right in the center of the counterweight. Well, not quite yet, so let's take a little more out. We're down at eight when we're at 89, 9.9. .9. Okay, beautiful. Okay, that's right where we want to be. You know, actually, we could come a little more because the counterweight, the counterweight inside this harmonic balancer is from here to here. We want to get in the center of that so we could take the rest of the weight out of that counterweight. I think that's going to put us where we want to be. Then we can take the rest of the weight out of the bolt-in counterweight and the harmonic balancer and get it lightened up even more. Eight three at 106. Oh wow, that really shifted it. Okay, we're right here, which is about dead center of our counterweight. Let me move this over here. Can you, can you get in here and show? See where this drill bit intersects this counterweight? See we're dead center over this counterweight right here? The weight? 
what we're going to do is we're going to take this counterweight off and we're going to trim it down to fine tune it to the final size, to, I mean the final weight.